Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Georgiana again with Expressions Craft Studio and today we are going to make another flower by Artisty Home. Um, she calls this this video is the Quilling 3D Flower Comb, Comb Flower. I'm reading it and I'm still saying it backwards. The Quilling 3D Comb Flower. And uh, she does the centers all a little differently, but the the outside petals are primarily the same and this is what we're working with. So these pink parts or kind of coral parts this is for me was one strip of ten and a half uh, and there's two per flower and then the white strip in the center I did okay so and then the center one I didn't actually measure it one thing I noticed was her strips were longer so she actually got six loops to each side of the center strip whereas I only got five and so what I did was, uh, instead of getting six loops around the center piece, I did five so that it matched up nicely. And then I wrapped it. So I can't tell you exactly how long that center piece is, but it's probably less than ten and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and wrap our other pink one. And pink or coral, whatever you want to call it. And this again is ten and a half inch strip. So I just kind of try to start where the center of my comb is. And I actually wrap this around two spaces to just make that center hole or loop a little bit bigger. All right, I'm sorry, I'm getting it off camera, but it's really hard for me to hold it. And listen to my cat cry outside like she's so abused. Um, she's not outside she's just outside the room okay so I don't know if you can see this let me put some glue on there maybe that'll make it a little easier and it's a little hard to hold and try to stay in the camera but I'll do my best so you're just going to fold this back over onto that loop so I've essentially gone around three times. There's a center tine and then there's where I looped the the strip around the tine on either side of that center tine or tooth, whatever you want to call it. So now we're going to go and we're just going to wrap make sure I do the right one. I almost did the uh, I almost did the center one, the white one. So we're going to go back up through. Let me put this behind there. Maybe it'll be easier to see. So you're going to go right up next to this edge of the one that you just glued down. Those kind of they're going to butt together, and then you're going to come up around the other side of it. And when you wrap back around, you're going to glue. There we go. That was way more glue than I've been using, but that's okay. So again, you're going to come up right next to this loop here. So in between those two teeth, right next to that other loop, and then you're going to go around your loop, or your tine, sorry, your teeth. Let's say teeth. Teeth is easier. I like it better. Come back over and down. And before we go down, we're going to add a little bit of glue. Just a little bit. Again, so we're going to go right up next to the teeth that has the paper strip around it and then come back up around that tooth. I swear she is a spoiled teenager. We don't even actually know how old she is. She was a stray when she showed up at our house. Okay, so we're going to go back down right next to that paper strip and then up around the next tooth. And we glue every time we go around it, just, just a little bit, just to help keep everything stuck together. And we're going to go, we, we're just going to keep repeating until we've got five loops on either side of that center loop. So we're just going to keep going back and forth. Now we did this with... Um, well, we did something similar, actually. I don't know it was exactly this in our first series of the videos where we made the leaves from Shivani Creations. Um, 
but it was a little bit different actually now that I think about it and sometimes your paper wants to be difficult and again you want you want these you know kind of tight but not so tight that you can't get it off of the off of the comb when you're done just kind of use my extra fingers to help put a little loop in that paper it just makes it come through the comb easier so see I just slide my finger in there and then pull it through now I'm starting to run out of paper so it's getting a little bit harder to do that And again, we're going to go right down through there and back up. And then we're going to come over and glue it. Now we've got a little bit extra. And so I just rip that off. You can cut it off, rip it off. Um, some people say that the torn edges glue better than the, the cut ones. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, I've just heard it. Alright, I just want to make sure that glue is good. Then we gently pull it off the comb. And somewhere underneath this mess of stuff. So now we've got our uh, opposing sides. And we just have to make our center. And those kind of naturally curl a little bit, so you don't have to do a whole lot to them. So for the center, I'm going to start with a 12 inch piece and I am going to pay, make a little loop like we did in one of our la later videos here not too long ago where we're just going to we're just going to make a little bitty glue loop whatever you want to call it tiny little loop if I can grab the paper tweezers here to hold that for just a second hopefully it gets good and good and secure all right so this one we're just going to count the number of times we go around so you can really start anywhere kind of toward the middle I did try to mark this earlier but I used a sharpie and it just came right off so I'm going to have to find something a little bit more permanent and we just want to do oh I just undid that I didn't have it glued well enough so let's try that again. Okay. Well, that might glue it too small. I don't know. Try that and see. Hopefully that'll work. So, um, this one is similar but different. You're not going to go up and then down. You're just going to keep going around and around and around from the middle out. We'll just put that on there. Should be pretty, pretty secure now. Now I started out not gluing these together, but then they started kind of coming apart. So I went back and on one side I glue them together. You can do that either way. My husband just rang the dinner bell, so pardon me for a second while I tell him I'm busy. All right, so we're just going to keep going. So that's one on each side, and this will be two. Get a little bit of glue, which is hard to see on that white, but it's there. So now we're doing our third one. And we'll come up and do number four. And 
let me count because this might be five. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Nope, this is still just four. I tend to want to count both ends instead of every other end, if that makes sense. Okay. So let me just rip some of this off. And what we're left with is three and a half inches. So that was 12 inches minus three and a half is eight and a half inches is what you need if you're going to duplicate this method. But again, it really depends on the comb you're using. Um, so, and the size strip, I mean, well, the size strips won't matter. Eight and a half inches is eight and a half inches, but the size comb will make a difference. The, the space between the teeth is going to make a difference. So once that's glued, secured, set that comb off to the side. We're done with that. And I'm just going to kind of pinch the ends a little bit. And then we're going to glue our pink side, or pink strips to the outside. Get it, try to get it as centered as possible so that you've got the same amount of space overhanging each end, which I say that, but I'm off a little. And I'm not, I'm trying not to squeeze these outside curls um, flat, so just gentle pressure there. Put your more glue on that side. And I think I want this one. I don't know if it really matters. And we just kind of keep finding ways to hold on to it. We're not squeezing it too tight, but we're giving it enough pressure for that glue to take hold. Okay, so now we're going to use our last 12 and a half inch or 12 inch strip and we're going to go wrap this coil or this center of this flower. I'm just going to put some glue starting here and just kind of wrap it around the tip there. All of a sudden my fingers don't want to work. So I will link her video below. Um, it is not in English, so I just kind of watched what she did and tried to figure it out from there. Um, but I do think it's a really pretty flower petal. And it could even be a leaf petal if you wanted it to be, if you did it in greens or autumn colors. All right, so now I'm just wrapping that around until I run out. Put a little bit of glue. Just gently give that a little, little squeeze, a little squeeze on the ends put my pen back in here for now and we still have to make our flower center so she creates this flower using both four and five petals or no five and six petals so you have some options she also used the cone in the first part of the video I, di I didn't finish watching it to, to um, secure these petals so that there's a little bit of dimension to them but there you go. You see how nicely six go together. So I'm going to I'm going to put you on pause while I work on my um, center. Right after I go eat my dinner, where I think we're having tacos. Who doesn't like tacos? So I will be right back with you. All right, I'm back. I've started my center coil, and I just used 
a strip of white that I had left over it's 12 inches and then I used one 10 and a half inch strip of the matching pink color pink or coral it's more of a coral I think I call it I've been going back and forth and then I took an 11 inch strip of white and fringed it out using my used credit card as a stopper and let's see here I've got it all twisted up here I want to just peel that away this is painters tape and I've I've used it several times so it's not as sticky but still sticky enough apparently and I made myself a line on this so I'd know where to line up my paper but I decided that that was actually a little too low for me so I just am using the bottom edge of these numbers I don't even know what this line measures and now that I look at it I can see it's not straight um, Gosh, it might be a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm instead I've added another sixteenth or so and I'm just going up to the bottom edge of those numbers and taping it down with my tape along the edge of the card so that it doesn't cut into the tape. And now I'm going to roll this up. And first, before I do that, let me see how this fits in there because I didn't look at that. Well, I ended up making it a little bigger than I needed to, I guess, but, and actually it's going to be bigger yet by the time we wrap the white around it, so we probably won't use very much of this. So she used that little cup that I told you about where you take a circle, cut it in half, pull it together and glue it. Um, I don't think I'm going to do that this time. I've still got this one sitting here from the other day, but I think I'm just going to finish wrapping this with the fringe and then um, just kind of slide them up and glue them that way. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the back side here and just try to line up the bottom of this strip. with the bottom of the coil and it would have been easier if I had just attached this and coiled it all at once but I didn't have it cut yet so I think I'm gonna turn it I don't know what I'm gonna do yeah it would have definitely been easier if I had left it on the on the needle tool. So I'm just gonna try I'm trying to keep it taut and yet um, even with the bottom and I'm not having a lot of luck with that. Uh, I think that's probably enough. Time those flail out, yeah. So let's cut that off there. Save that for another project. And I'll glue this down. Oops. Oh, I think the other thing she did was she cupped the the centerpiece which mine is a little bit but that was completely an accident because I haven't glued it or anything so I think before I get too carried away with the fringe I'm going to set this in here kind of line it up the way I want it and start gluing everything together So, I'm just 
going to put some glue here on the end. Oops. And slide that in there. I'm trying to kind of keep it straight up and down to the best of my ability. And then we'll do the bottom one. I'm looking for my glue seam because I just... Oh, that one's actually at the bottom. Awesome. Most of them weren't. And we'll just push this in here. Just going to apply pressure until it holds. Trying to butt that right up to the to the center there. Hmm. I don't know which way to do that. Let's see here. So I don't think I will do a video for tomorrow because I have so much. Tidying and other stuff that I need to work on and to need to kind of come up with a plan so I don't think there'll be one tomorrow this one actually took this flower actually took longer than I expected again I didn't have a plan because the one before that took longer than expected so um, I might make a couple more of these in different sizes using different centers like she did. Alright, so I'm going to let that dry for a minute. It's not exactly lined up correctly. I feel like there's too much space. Base. Oh, that's why I'm doing it wrong. It should be these ones up here. Oh, that'll be alright. So, I might still add... Trying to think here. Should I do some other little coils? Or, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I feel like it might need something else, but I don't won't know for sure until I get this dried enough to. Oh, okay. Let's just press our. Now I probably could have curled these, but a little bit more because I did leave them long. This center piece is actually a half inch strip because I knew I wanted my fringe kind of long. Oh, I'm liking it. Yeah, it's not super sturdy, but maybe I need do need to put a little something on the back side. I don't like this one because it's just a really bright pink. But, if it will work, which, I mean, it would, you wouldn't really be able to see it. Okay, let's, since it's sitting here, normally I would try to match my colors better, but it's sitting here. Just gonna slather that up really good. Probably too good. Try to get it centered. I'm looking at the camera. I'm not sure how centered that is, but probably could come this way a little. Alright, I'm just gonna give it a press. And basically, you just press that point in when you do that. 
and then you can kind of lift it back up and recup it a little bit if you want. Just kind of trying to add pressure in various points to get that glue to stick. Yeah, see I probably would have used if I had been prepared. Oh, that cat is back. She has just been such a brat. The weather's nice and she wants to go outside and she can't because there are mean people in this park. Don't tell anybody. Don't tell anybody I said that. Um, anyway, I'm just trying to give this enough time to really really dry but I think it's cute and I don't know if you can see it very well but it's got a bit of a a bit of a rocky bottom there which I kind of like it makes the petals kind of come up more I feel like this one's not very well attached but yeah I think I probably should have used a white circle and I might still just make a bigger one and put underneath there because um, that one's kind of on the small side but there you go there you have it so that is what did we say artistry home quilling 3d comb flower uh, I'll link it below like I said and I think it turned out really cute it's not exactly like hers but it's pretty close so one more to add to the books and like I said, I'll probably take tomorrow off just because I've got some stuff I need to get done. But we'll be right back at it in a few few days for sure. I'm sorry, I'm still just playing with it, trying to get it to prop itself up a little bit more. The glue's not quite dried, I think. Or maybe it is, and that's just what we've got to deal with here. Anyway... Um, all right, well, thanks for joining me, guys. This is Georgiana with Expressions Craft Studio, and I appreciate you, and I hope you have a happy, crafty day.